I'm a PhD candidate at Texas A&M University. For my dissertation, I'm studying patch burn grazing. Uh, patch burn grazing involves the use of cattle and fire to manage quail habitat. The objectives of my research are to document, to quantify uh, cattle distribution in response to the patch burns, to look at the uh, effectiveness of patch burn grazing as a tool to control prickly pear, to look at the response of the weeds, the forbs that the quail like for, for food sources, as well as the small mammal response. Well, the reason that we burn patches instead of the entire pasture so that you can manipulate the vegetation on your property uh, in the way that you think is going to best benefit the quail. The patch we're standing in right now was burned in January, just about five months ago. As you can see, we've had a great response. Um, the cattle have been spending a lot of time here grazing and the forbs are really coming in, these good weeds that we want. And for obviously right here, we got a great sunflower crop coming in. That's gonna mean lots of seeds for the quail. Immediately after the burn, the cows will come in to eat the prickly pear. Uh, once the fire has gone through the patch, the, the spines are burned off the prickly pear, which makes the, the pear pads very palatable to the cows. So we'll find them uh, coming to the patches um, generally within hours of the fire um, to feed on the prickly pear. This image shows data from 2009. Each one of these little red dots indicates the location of one of our collared cows in the pasture. These red outlines show the patches that we intended to burn in 2009. Notice very little use in most of these patches. This next image is the data collected after we burn these patches. Again, these dots indicate locations of the cattle. Notice that there's much more extensive use of these burned areas, these burned patches, after the burns have taken place. Cattle primarily feed, not entirely, but primarily feed on grasses. So when they're attracted to the, the recently burned patches, this gives the forbs or the weeds the opportunity to become established and, um, and come up in good numbers. The, the weeds are very important to the quail, uh, primarily as food plants, uh, the seeds that they produce, but also the insects that feed on the weeds are also very important as a food source to, uh, to the bob white, particularly the chicks. Um, so the, the cattle are mostly working on the grass, which meaning all these, these good weeds are coming up and um, typically that's what we're wanting out of these patches is, is a good forb response to produce the seeds and to produce the, uh, the insects to feed uh, this year's crop of quail. We know that many property owners who are managing for wildlife also have cattle on their property and we hope that they will consider the opportunities to to optimize the habitat both for wildlife and for cattle production. Patch burn grazing is one way to do this, to put the fire and the cattle together to benefit the wildlife.